you know, this is uh, this works. I want to thank Georgia. This she's here from the Center for Ideas and Society. This is uh, was my senior fellowship, the residence, three years, starting 2016 until 2019, and then took more one, of, almost one year to conclude. But uh, it was a uh, inquire investigation on sound studies. So what sound and sound studies, because sound studies become something very popular as a discipline. There are many people who work in sound studies in different aspects, culture, sound itself, or uh, space. You know, and basically if, well, the question that comes is about uh, the lis uh, listen. Listen, it's a very, uh, let's say, crucial point because it's to draw the attention to listen, to listening. How we listen to the environment, how we listen to machines, how we listen to people, how we listen to the nature. So there's some people working with the nature, so plants, the sound of plants. So everything is related to sound and it started to become popular also because you can record sound. So then you can analyze the sound, you can listen to sound. So for, uh, the, on the past, for, for if, you don't, if you cannot capture the sound, it becomes difficult to study the sound. So and that's, you know, that's basically it's growing, it's growing the idea of sound studies. And also there is a s sound art becomes also people involved in sound and this was my motivation to study sound studies to, to uh, learn on that investigate on that and then I become more and more interested also in the relationship between sound and visual because uh, sound is something that we hear but we are always also seeing things or so connected to sound in, in, in any and see much more than we imagine. So you see, the, you see something producing sound and you connect the, the sound to the cause of the sound. And then we have sounds from our digital devices that represent something. So they also, we are listening to these sounds, the sounds of your, our alarm clock so they all tell us some, some things. And we also manipulate the sound with displays. Um, so in making sounds and, and uh, programming sounds to, 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 to do certain things. Anyway, so I became interested in this aspect of sound in connection to visual. And also the third thing is also in connection with the, the physical experience. So the experience that we have when we listen to sounds in in, uh, in closed spaces like here, where you can uh, experience something dedicated to the sound in a movie theater, you also do that, or at home, but at home less, so because we, uh, and with uh, our devices mo less, so, but some places we want this have experience, this physical experience with the sound. And that's what we call Im immersion, so today, which is a, Immersion is a big word that can be can mean many things, but can mean this direct involvement with something that takes your sense in a in a holistic way that you are you become part of this experience. And yeah, so this is are the the motivations that draw me for this this work. So and then I I wanted to do to connect the different places on the world. So basically the places that are related to my experience. Uh, I'm from Brazil and I live in, in Europe and I travel also a lot for, for researching for concerts, for doing so. Then I start to incorporate this, this observation of sound in different places. And then that's why I came to this idea of listening culture. So to listen is, 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 listen is also a cultural thing. So you listen b based on your cultural values, on things that you are the habits, then 
you, you, you listen to, for example, in the university, in a classroom, in a, in a way, you listen to people in a different way, you listen on, uh, if you are in a car in a different way, so there's a different cultures of listening. And I have relationships, entertainment, uh, environment, political listening, violence listening, so there's all many different things. And yeah, then that's what I, that was motivated me to, to, inco to observe these cultures of listeners, how people listen to different things, and basically what, how I listen also, because I am participating in this experiment to listen to myself, and so how I listen and how other people that surround me are listening. If you go in, in a, if you are in a place, Oh, here, there's many sounds, yeah. So what you listen, you listen to the people playing the instruments, the people walking, the people talking, the many things that you can listen. And then, for example, I use a, I use a technology that captures things in the, in the 360, so captures things that are be, before us, behind us, on the side, above and below. Uh, especially, this, they call zambisonics, that's the... It's a format for recording s sounds that you record as the world was a, s uh, a bubble or a, a sphere. So you record like a sphere. And that's what I did. I did recordings on that. And then I connected these recordings with s uh, video recordings that also record like a sphere. So it's their cameras, they have more than one lens they have basically two lens they are they work together and you capture the sounds from all the pl from all the sides and from above and from below so you have this, this spherical theoretical because there is some limitations on that more than with sound sound you can have this things but the 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 images you have to put together the images so and then i try to co I connect these two things the spherical sound with a spherical scene and then you know you you sit for example for you have this orange groves you be there nothing happens in the orange groves so but you have the cars you have the you have a lot of noise so what is the typical listening culture of this orange groves and you know you start to establish relationships with the things and imagine in your how things sound, how the wind on the, on the leaves, the oranges, they don't make noise, but <laughs> you imagine if they would. Anyway, so this is all these different cultures of listening. So in a building, so if you are standing in front of a building, how you listen to the building? So, but you listen because there is a lot of sounds going on. If you really take the, 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 the time and the disposition, you you start to listen a lot of things. Yeah, and this is, uh, I mean, th then you, you have all this, this material, and then you, you have to put together. So you can, you know, you can think, put together things that refer to each other. And then, then we started to also to manipulate it, the, the things we have, the, the media. So you you work with sound, you work with video. If you connect the things together or not connect together, the way you connect the things you put together, the different places, the different geographic uh, situations, the different cultures, the different associations that you have. So it starts to become seems something really very complex. Uh, and this basically the idea of this installation is the idea to, cre to provide you with a, uh, um, a multi-layered impression. So it's like when you hear uh, music you call that polyphony, you hear music with many voices, you hear many instruments, the piano, you hear the saxophone, you hear this or you hear the voice. So you hear different things at the same time. And you are able to hear these different things at the same time. So if you, if you start to look at different things at the same time, it's, become, it's different because you have to turn, you have, you know, music captures your, your body without any effort, but the, the visual is a different sensation. So you could have uh, you could have images from everywhere. You could be inside a a, a, a world with images. So then it becomes some uh, questions of how you shape this experience.
Yeah, then you come to the practical setting of the thing. So where you do, uh, what is the material that you have and how you create this sensation. So here you see we have this more and this at this level here. We could also have this level here. We could also just have a layer. So we could expand this idea. So in terms, in practical terms, but this is what we we decided to do. And basically, you have a sort of modular concept that you could implement this concept in different ways. You could have different monitors. You can have different. So because what you have here is a set of 88 videos. That's what I produce, 88 videos, and they are organized in, in 12 different sequences. And that was Nikolai Maslow that did that, this organization, so this setting. So it was also a, cho a choice. Now he organized according to different countries, according to different kinds of situations, like, like temples, like the nature, like buildings. So this is was you know this was a cooperation. That's so when you started to really to work together I, I, with other people and created this, and it could be different if other somebody else would organize this this material. So that's what I like also in this kind of work. You start to create a, di uh, a dimension of the things that are not just like a score when you have a music. So it's more a improvisation. So in the sense. Anyway, and this is, uh, uh, and then that is this. This project is a little bit different because uh, I, I create a sound for this projection. So this is a this is a movie with 27 minutes and it repeats, and it it contains different movies. So seven, eight different. This is, for example, from Brazil, and that is it. from all the different places. I took one or two movies, and then I I added the sound for the move. Sometimes I add, this is the sound of this place. So you hear here, that's very interesting here because this is in Sao Paulo, in Brazil. And then you hear, uh, you are you are in the middle of a forest, but this is inside of the city in a very busy street. And you hear the traffic here. And then you ask yourself, is this sound connected to this, to this image or is a, it's a different sound? It's not in the case, it's connected, but it's different because you cannot connect the plant to the car. How you connect the plant to the car, you know, but you have, you, you, you connect because that's why you listen, you hear, and that's what you see. That's why it becomes really weird. And some other sounds are not really connected, but they could be because you see a temple, you see cre children play, and voices, and so could be people outside, and they are. so. There's a lot of ambiguities in these situations that the things are seems to be connected and are not, or the things are uh, seems to not be connected and in reality they are. So there's a lot of this ambiguity between the relationship between the sound and the image. And yeah, that's why I call sonic imag uh, sound imaginations because it's an imagination. So it really, it really, you need some imaginations to, to, to perceive things, to see if the things are together or not together, if they belong to each other, so what they, the sound. Sometimes you recognize very, very, very right away because you see somebody play an instrument and you hear the instrument, you see on the Indian procession, but most of the time you don't connect because you don't see the relationship between what you see and what you hear. So this is a seven, you have seven speakers here and one subwoofer with low frequencies. So you have a, diff you have a different ex experience that you ever have in your house. This is something similar you have in a movie theater. You have 7.1. In a movie theater, what they do? They put the voice here in the middle. They put the, the sounds that are occurring here and they put the, the surround sound, the effects. So on the back, that's what you, you hear. So here not, here you have uh, the 360, all channels are the same. They have the same possibility. The same, they could, you can see something here, but uh, and then you will hear the sounds that are capturing you on the back. And, it, and, and afterwards you see there is a fountain moment, there is a fountain, the sound of water. You don't see the water, but the water will come because it's part of the, what has been captured. The sounds come from all the places and you have to identify the sounds. This requires you to identify the sounds in some way. 
it puts you in this position to, or if you are engaged to what you listen to hear, you have to pay attention to what you hear to identify what it is. Anyway, so this, I think this is a, a very interesting, this experience of sound, because it's something that you don't get at home. You can, get, you can see a movie, you can see a movie at home, you can see one movie, you can see in the movie theater, you get something, but you cannot experience this kind of experience in a different set. You need, to, you need this physical presence of the speakers, you need also these vibrations that are on the on the air and you need to be touched for these vibrations to get this kind of experience because this is not something virtual this is something really real anyway that's what i have to say i want to say so that's what i like to say so this introduction to this to the to this work to installation and also to the to the things that motivated me to do that and so this has brought me to a completely different world that i am use which is the world of concert to create performance so this is a kind of performance that took place but then in a different level so in one thing that i was very happy to when i read the article that that sandra baltazar wrote to say this is about connecting people so i didn't think about that but i think really this it was an interesting view that she she put there you are connecting people to the idea of listening culture so you how people listen how people create cultures of listening and this can connect people this can put people together so if they are you know aware of their listening if they listen to things together and that's that's what i think that came across for me uh, more than what I thought, this idea, this idea of listening culture as a connective element, as an element to inc inclusion element, you know, to put uh, things together.